Well, Trophy Hunters, I found a really amazing weapon. It's called Wings of the Ten. It's a legendary blastling. It does an insane amount of damage, also does adhesive, and I'm going to show you exactly how to get it. Now, just a quick reminder, I did get a free code from PlayStation, so shout out to them. Thank you so much. But here it is, the Wings of the Ten. I'm going to just give you a little clip of me taking care of this machine here. And I'm going to show you exactly how to get this. Now, this is kind of tied to the black box locations you will find around the world. You're not going to be able to get all 12 of these until after you've completed, I think it's the 12th story mission, in which case you get the vine cutter, and you're going to need that to get to some of these locations. Now, I would recommend just kind of doing it after you acquired a mount, a flying mount, that is, because that's going to just lift you up and take you exactly where you need to go. No problems at all. But if you want to do it early after the 12th main mission, you're going to get the vine cutter and you can then go and climb some of the higher mountains. It's just going to take a little bit longer. So here's the first black box, no man's land. I'm just kind of zooming in here. That's the spot on the map. Most of these, you're just going to go and pick it up. Now, all of them are going to be at old world plane wrecks. So you're going to find some uh, plane crash wrecks in higher territories, not exclusively. There's going to be some up in the mountains, which is why using a flying mount. It's going to be much better. So we're going to collect all 12 of these in order to get this weapon. And trust me, you guys are going to want it. So here's the White Watch Peaks up here. It's really up a high in the mountains. Now for this, you're going to have to use the pool caster. So you can see the mark here. But there's two boxes that you're going to use the pool caster on. The left one here, and there's one to the right. Pull both of these, and you'll then be able to just go and pick up the black box. Now, once we've acquired all 12 black boxes, we'll have to actually go and exchange them and finish the side quest because this weapon is a reward for that side quest. All right, so next up is Jagged Deep. I'm doing this in the order that they appear in your collectibles notebook in case you're curious why they're like this. Now, this one's kind of not up in the mountains. Instead, it's way underneath the water here. You're going to see the wreckage of the plane here in just a moment. If you go to that spot in the water, you should see the question mark on your compass. So we're going to just go all the way down here. You're not going to be able to uh, get down here and swim this far down until you've got the ability, which is story related. But since you can't get all of these until after you get the vine cutter, don't worry too much about it. And if you want to be a, a real, real trooper, just wait until you get the flying mountain and then you can just go fly everywhere. Except for this location, which eventually I'm going to get to the data drive. I'm caught on something here. Okay, pick up that box, and we're going to head over to black box number four, the promontory. Now this one has a little wrinkle. You have to get a battery and be, before you can open the door. So just go to this location I have marked on the map. You can see the door. Now, we need to find the battery and place it here. And the battery is actually not that far away. It's about 100 feet over this way. Pick up the energy cell, and you're going to use that to open the door. Then you can pick up the black box. Now for this, you need to destroy this metal flower and then install the vine cutter. This is the thing, again, you get after the 12th uh, main mission. Destroy the vines and you can pick up the box. All right, so now we're going to head up towards the very top edge of the map here, kind of in the middle. Go to this location, and this one's going to be pretty easy. You just got to get up to where the, the plane is. I'm just using my flying mount to just kind of take a shortcut. You can do it the old fashioned way if you want to scale up the mountain. Just use your, your scanner to find the handhold that you can use to get up. So there we go. Black box number six is going to be the still sands. This one's also going to require the vine cutter. So go to this location and you can pretty much see exactly what you need to do. Same thing we just did.
Now for this, you need to pull out this box. Don't use the pull caster because it's not going to be able to come out. Just go up to it, pull it by hand. And right behind it is going to be the black box. All right, next up, the Memorial Grove. Uh, this one I got early, as you can see, I haven't uncovered the map. I usually like to uncover the entirety of a map before I get the collectibles. But in this case, I didn't for whatever reason. But you go to this location, I'm gonna have to do a double jump up here. Using the grapple jump, and then just go to the front of the plane. All right, so once you pick that up, you're going to head over to the settlement called Salt Bite. It's going to be just a little left than where number six was. You see the location here on the, on the map. Now this, you're going to have to find the building with a vent in it. Now this is a clever, a hidden old world object here. Kind of hidden in plain sight, if you will, this plane. Pop open the vent and then just go back in and well, find your uh, black box. That doesn't make you eligible hey, for a discount. Alright, the next one's called the Rain Trace, and this one's also going to require the Vine Cutter. This one's out in the middle of nowhere, literally no nothing out here. You can see the plane. Now there's two halves of the plane. There's one half over here on the left and one half to here to the right. We're going to have to use the Vine Cutter. And the metal flower here and it'll uh, obviously make the vines go away in front of us and now we're going to grab an energy cell bring it back to the other half of the plane put it in its slot and then be able to open the door and collect it at that point So with the energy cell in there, you can now open the door and pick up the data drive, black box, whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to go all the way up on the mountains. This one's nice to have a bird to fly up there. If you don't have it, don't worry. You can still get up there. This is the high up on the cliffs here. You can see there is a campfire nearby. Now what you need to do is go towards that campfire and pick up the energy cell just to the left of it over here next to your stash. And of course, we're going to use this energy cell to open the door. Well, the black box is actually going to be just a couple feet in front of you. A very small little room here we're going to open. Portman, are you there? All right, so the next one is called and of the Sentinels. This is another one that's going to be kind of high up on a mountain. There's a little clearing on the side of this one here. And this one's actually going to be very easy. Just got to move this crate out of the way and then pick up the black box right in front of you. All right, now the last one is going to be in the Isle of Spires. The Isle of Spires is all the way far left of the little island here. And you'll see the location here on the map. This plane's kind of vertical here, how it's sitting in the trees. Uh, we're just going to head down towards the front end of it. And drop down, and it's going to be right in front of me here. And we're going to pick that up. Now, we're going to go and get the Wings of the Ten. And you got to do this by completing the Black Box's Collectibles quest. On your left-hand side is the, the last option. Now you have to go back to the Memorial Grove. So once you have all 12 of these, head back to the Memorial Grove, go and find Antawa. I guess the name of this woman. She'll be off here to the right, and just around the corner. Now you need to buy everything she's gonna offer. The black boxes, what you use them for is for various crafting materials, rare resources. And each one of these black boxes that you've acquired will allow you to pick one of her 12 items. Each of them costs one black box. That's it. So buy all of them. You will complete the quest and you will then be given the really, really awesome Wings of the Ten. Do highly recommend you guys get that. 
use it when you're in a pinch. And if you guys really enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Let me know if you got this wings of the 10. Let me know what you think of it and let me know more importantly, what you feel is the best weapon in the game. Cause for my money right now, it's this thing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you.